back to live action. How are you making out over here, model? Mm -hmm. How are you making out over here? That good, huh? Very nice, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the root beer float is that much closer to being complete. Got that front clip on. Very, very dirty. But once it's cleaned up, It'll look a thousand times better. The C10, the part that we were working on just a little while ago, where we added the extended uh, bumper and molded it in, it is now painted. The hole that was in there, we welded it in, grinded it down. And uh, you can't tell the difference now. Now it looks like all one piece with the fender. Isn't that beautiful? The 87 SS, all primed on this uh, passenger side now. The hood is primed. This customer is gonna be happy. I know it's taking a while, but again, these are project cars. This type of work is never done overnight, but it's turning out fabulous if you ask me. Trunk is done. And we gotta get to the driver's side, but it's all a work in progress. And the S580, a model's Diligently working on it now. It's a big difference, huh? Yep. We should be done with this soon. And here we have a 2020 392 Charger. SRT. It's a bad boy. Bad, bad boy. As you can see, this boy has been naughty. So naughty it had to pay us a visit. <laughs> so when your cars are being naughty, so naughty that they end up looking like this, you bring them in to see us and we're going to get you straight. You heard? 392 Hemi. SRT. So when you expect we're going to be painting this Amalo? Today. Oh, okay. Today. We're going to paint this up today, guys. And should be going tomorrow. And so the Regal is finally about to get her wings. We've done a lot already, and we're doing a lot more. These floorboards are finally uh, getting uh, changed out. Currently changing them out now. And then we're back at it.
So guys, over the last couple of days, because of the fact that uh, we have no power, that the homeless dudes uh, try to burn us down, <laughs> we have no power still. So we were visited by the fire department and by the city. And we have so many violations. So I'll walk you through really quickly. The fire extinguishers, they are outdated. So we need to update the fire extinguishers. This whole paint booth is a disaster. Apparently, uh, you cannot have these covered with plastic, the, the water uh, things, whatever you call them for the fire. You can't have them covered with regular plastic. There's a certain material that you have to have them covered with. We also need a meter in here that reads the air. Uh, I, I forgot what you called it, but it's a meter that uh, tells you what uh, the air quality is in here. So, uh, you know, we gotta do that. We gotta clean this place up. Uh, the walls, very dirty. They don't really care, but this is excessive. This is really excessive. So, uh, like I've been saying all along, we gotta handle our business. So this area right here that has had a lot of junk over here, they didn't like that because it's too much, uh, you know, it's by uh, this box right here they don't like that with all the best here they don't they don't like too much junk around that uh just in case it might ignite and uh you definitely don't want that and this door right here like i've been telling this dude all along this needs to be opened of course he tries to blame me but it's not my fault because i didn't put all this junk here but uh this area is always supposed to be clear. It's an exit, so we did that. So I'm going into clean up mode again because we will be getting a visit in another three weeks to make sure that we have complied with all of our violations. So again, I hope this is a wake up call for all these guys that think that I'm crazy for trying to keep this shop organized, trying to keep it in one piece. Hopefully this is a, a wake up call. We're back in the C10 and she's about to go bye bye. So one last time for the tube and for the gram. I am literally sweating from my forehead all the way to my pants. It is hot in there, but it's worth it. It is definitely worth it. They still trying to figure out who I am, who I be. Pillow talking to these hoes, that shit weak. They say money talk, put diamonds in my teeth. I be Louis down with Jordans on my feet. Niggas messed up in your yard like trick or treat. You better play your cards right, you better not ever reach. For this chain over here, I put you underneath. Yeah, I ripped it five, but oh, I yeah, put right you there. six feet.
lame ass nigga, I ain't got no motion. Means I flexing on these niggas like I'm Hulk Hogan. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Handle business. I'm shitting on the industry and God is my witness. Nigga, 